Even though I try to play as many heroes as possible, there are times that I just have to go with some of my favorite heroes of all times, especially when it's the first match of the day and I need some matches to warm up. As most of you probably already know, Ali is one of those heroes that I have the most matches with and a pretty decent win rate, so I'll be playing him in this match. By the way, I met this Cho in the previous match and he was very good as the roamer. It was a pleasant surprise to see him on my team again. It doesn't hurt to compliment your teammates if they did well, since it could boost the team's morale and potentially make them perform better. But for some reason, it seems like many people think that telling someone that they are trash, they suck or whatnot will give them more motivation to try harder. This Cho really know his stuff, he caught his lane and rotated so early. I'm not sure if my pep talk had any effect. I want to go for the damage dealers. But since their tank is quite out of position, I will just take what is being served. I saw their jungler going for his blue buff, this is the perfect time to go for the turtle. I will try to go for their marksman, but Mino can easily cancel my first skill, so it's gonna be tricky. I will try to go for their blue buff, but there's a very good chance the jungle is already heading this way, so I decided to use it as a bait instead. Change of plan I guess. Now I could go for his blue, but the Toro is way more juicy. I was planning to take my blue after clearing the wave, but then I saw that a big fight was about to happen in the bottom lane. Not sure where your Gushion is, so chasing her blindly could be quite risky. But perhaps he might come this way, so let's wait. Even better. I guess that was an even trade in the end.
Gord is making some big plays. Even though he's in the opposite side, he still puts a smile on my face when I see underrated heroes doing quite well. Okay. Okay. By the way, although it might seem like we are quite ahead, in reality, the game is a lot closer than what it looks like. I'm gonna try to older marksman. Everything looks more colorful. What a brave tank. We are putting too much emphasis in the middle lane that we are totally neglecting the side lanes. The cow kept popping up at the very last moment. He thinks he can get away after trying to go for my ally, but he's dead because of my newest resolution. Which means the resolution is still pretty much alive and kicking. But it might not last till the end. Minor thinks that because he's the tank, we won't try to kill him first, but how wrong he is. No tank, mean an easy path to their backline. Found my next target. Minus ult can easily turn the tide of the battle, so taking him out first is not a bad idea, especially if we can do it very quickly. Even though we didn't kill Mino, we made him low enough to force him to go back, which gave us the space to play more freely and not to be worried about getting a 5 man ult from him. This bomb gave our location away.
we were getting a bit overly confident. We are starting to be reckless with our positioning. They can still easily make a comeback. All it takes is one bad team fight and they can push all the way. From now on, we gotta play smarter. When they are all bunched together, it's important to aim for the main damage dealers first. Here, we definitely don't want to go for the tank first anymore. Our Cho is about to flank them, I will join him. Now that most of them are dead, and only their tank is alive, now we can use all our skills on him. Our only remaining minion is very low, it will be very unlikely to finish the game in this situation. It's better to just take the lore here. When you get the Lord, it's really important to push all the lanes, but a lot of times, many players forget about this crucial part. Our team is taking an ill advice fight here. Once I see the monkey leaves to go back to defender base, I will go for the cow. This is it. Opportunities are everywhere. You just need to look carefully. Oof, but it seems like they used a lot of the old, so this might be a good opportunity to counter attack. The marksmen from both teams are getting caught out of position quite often. This is getting a bit tricky. Selena and Harley are two heroes that don't scale that amazingly into the late game. And they have one of the scariest marksmen for the late game, Melissa. Also, you cannot underestimate Soon. He's actually pretty deadly in the late game as well. We really need to kill their damage dealers first, or we probably won't have a chance. This is gonna be rough. I was trying to cancel my first skill, but I guess I made the UI too small and moved it too much to the right side. Sorry. 
I can't believe I actually managed to pull it off. Let's see try to end the game. If we can stop the recall, this might be GG. This is a good start. We actually have a good chance to end them here. Just by looking at the stats and score, it might have seemed like it was an easy match, but as you all saw, we had to make many little perfect executions here and there throughout the game to make this work. Anyway, this was a fun match, and I will probably upload the previous match as well, and like I said at the start of the video, this same show made an appearance in there as well. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to 